Hey there guys, it's time for the second episode of LEGO Star Wars. And let's see, select the save slot. Only have to do that once luckily, after that it pretty much auto-saves after every stage. So chapter 2, Invasion of Naboo. The Trade Federation has launched a full-scale attack on the peaceful world of Naboo. Oh no! Hiding aboard the landing craft, Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi have secretly hitched a ride with the invasion force. Now they must make contact with local forces before it is too late. Yep, lots of Trade Federation ships heading towards the planet. Just like in Episode 1. You know, people are always hating on that movie. I don't think it was that bad. I mean, sure, it's the worst Star Wars movie, probably. And Obi-Wan does a little epic face plan there. Told you Obi-Wan's just gonna perform fail after fail after fail in this LP. Or in this game, at least. Oh no, a tree in Battle Droids. Just whack them all. Don't expect any help from Obi-Wan, though. Because he's not gonna provide any. Because the AI in this game is exceptionally stupid. It's pretty much they'll follow you, and that's about it. Anyway, this level is another pretty short one. Not really gonna have much of a problem with this. Just whack some droids. I mean, the droids really can't do jack shit to the Jedi characters, usually. Only if you're, like, not blocking or something. Then they can kill you, but if you simply block, like any sane person would, then they are probably not gonna kill you. What's in here? Another mini kit. Two out of ten already. Yeah, they're kind of... Wait, what? Oh, look! Oh no, it's him! Jar Jar Binks! And he's sniffing flowers. He's trying to get high. I mean, because he acts retarded enough without even being high. And man hug. Yeah. Creepy frog man hug. That's pretty much what Jar Jar is. Anyway, you might be wondering. Oh god, Jar Jar, what he's gonna what's he gonna do? Well, he's not as useless as the protocol droid. Because Jar Jar can jump real freaking high. But not high enough to reach that mini kit over there, sadly. And also he can't attack by himself. But that also means that you won't usually be targeted if you're playing as him. Because for some reason the battle droids usually seem to go only after the enemies that are actually posing a threat to him, like the Jedi or characters with guns or whatever. Usually not they don't go after like the protocol droids or Jar Jar. Although I do think they may actually go after Jar Jar because they just hate organics for some reason. Anyway, you will need to use Jar Jar in this stage quite a lot because he's the only one who can jump on top of these things and pretty much crush him down far enough for Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon to jump over. And yeah, get the blue thing, even though I don't really... Oh crap, forgot the double jump. Sometimes it, the jump doesn't really register that well, so... Yeah, no harm done in having to do it again, though. It's not, it looks like it that hard to do. Let's see. Mm, just get some more studs. Which, they... Studs can pretty much be used to buy more characters and stuff. Because this game has a lot of characters. However, the only ones that you don't need to buy are the ones you play as in story mode. Like, uh, I already unlocked Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon from the start, and then I unlocked TC-14, the protocol droid, after the last stage, because he was an ally in that one. And at the end of this stage, I'm gonna unlock Jar Jar Binks. Now, I think, at, by this point, I've also unlocked, like, viable battle droids and stuff. You'd have to go buy him in the character store, but I'm not gonna do that, because... I don't really need to, and you can only use them in free play anyway, not in story mode, so... It doesn't really matter. Crap droids. And you may run running... What is that hatch for over there? That's... For free play, you need a small character who can crawl through that. And Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, and Jar Jar are not suitable for that at all. So, I'll need another character, which I'll get later on. And you can pick that character in free play and go back here and go through that thing. And there's probably a mini kit waiting for you there. Anyways, 
What's up there? Just a blue stud. Screw that. Yeah, man. This water's coming up to my neck. Should be swimming there, but he's running in it as easily as he was running through air. Let's see, another mini kit. That's five. Yeah, the mini kits in this stage aren't particularly difficult to get. Come on, Jar Jar, get up there. I mean, why can Jar Jar jump so high? It's not like he's performed any real feats of athleticism in the movie. I mean, he pretty much the only thing he did that resembles that was the awesome double flippy dive into the lake. At like when he just met Qui Gon, and that's about it, really. For the rest of the movie, he was just stupid, and I don't know. Some of the stupid things he's done is get his tongue stuck in an electrified thing in a force field, get a fingers, get his hand stuck in an engine. Which was kind of like a fan. So yeah, Jar Jar is a freaking retard. Oh, what? No awesome dive? Fine then. Swim. Yeah, in the movie they show... Or is that the Gungan boss? He is ugly. Mind trick. Hmm. Oh yes. You will take my submarine to go to the thingy. Yeah, there's no dialogue in this, so they pretty much had to go with facial expressions and gestures to kind of get the narrative across. Anyway, Jar Jar unlocked. Great. Now, in the next part of LEGO Star Wars, we will go and do Chapter 3 of Episode 1, which will be taking us to the Naboo City. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.